Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie bit my finger going? instead. As you can tell, I'm on the farm and I'm shooting from within the car today. There's not a lot about because it's 29 degrees because it's Sunday, August the 25th. And it's bloody roasting. So like an idiot, I've decided to come out to the farm to shoot. Um, I've had a couple already when I first got here and I'm just uh, just got set up in the car with the impact and the excite and the rangefinder and a two litre bottle of water and hopefully we'll get a few or a few more um, I'm planning on going up to my rabbit for mission straight from here so it could be a double double whammy day today and I'll see how I get on okay it stinks it's hot I've got a two litre bottle of water I've got a nice peak cap on that's keeping all the heat in. I'll see how we go. Peak to your feet. Okay, first one. Got this gang of three. Picking the dinner out of a pile of manure. Rolling around with me. 29 degrees, you're jet black, and you're pulling your dinner out of a big pile of fly blown manure. Gotta be a better way to earn a living, aren't they? So, pick the one that sits still. Quite a straightforward shot there. His two mates scarper off like they always do. Hoping one of them will just circle back round but they just take off. So I'm shoved the car up a little bit now. And this one's so close I couldn't find it in the viewfinder at first. It's like literally 15 yards away. So I'll take him with a nice steady shot. Quite straightforward enough. And then I shift the car again, back it up, so it's more sideways onto the pens. Now I can see a bit of movement and hear the noise behind the little tree, but I'm just trying to work out where it, uh, there it is. Just watching for it settling. Looking for the flap of the feathers. There it was. I'll do. Take that one. Just as the farmer's dog shows up. Yeah, that was the dog, not the farmer. Next one off the roof. Don't allow for the bit of windage. I put a pellet right behind his head. But he don't realise. So it gives me another chance to allow for the windage. Take him with a headshot. That's the beauty of the uh, shroud on the impact. It's virtually silent, especially at 40 yards. Now I've got a chattering bunch of everybody's favourite. Maggie's. I'm just trying to sneak a pellet. Just shows me a bit of his head. Oh, I just clipped the steel then and he ducks. But uh, nice of him to turn around and give me his head so I can take him with the next shot. And that sets them off squawking like they always do. And then they bugger off, never to be seen again. The next one on top of the telegraph pole. I'm going to build a hide near this pole because this just seems to be such a favourite perch. I drop straight down into the yard at the back and then I just as I look round to the right there's another one on a steel post or well, the cable between the steel posts sorry I take him with a nice shot to the chest down he drops into the silage now that's seven and I decide to call it a day then okay it's all gone very quiet here so uh, I think it's time to wrap up hardly anything about really now at all so uh, time to head for the rabbits it's uh, yeah. 25 to 6 so I wrapped up here got about 25 minute drive to my rabbit permission so um, we get wrapped up get stuff away um, drive up there go through McDonald's get a salad and uh, get set up up there so see you in about an hour probably well an hour for me not for you see you later
Right, you never want, quite want to give up, do you? So I had a quick wander around. Just had a quick nosy around the corner where the pens are and found this last one marauding. So I just managed to sneak the gun around the corner and take him. So that was eight, which is not bad for a visit for a hot afternoon. Okay, just got here, five to seven. Can't see any out of that at the minute, but uh, I've not had a good look around yet. Uh, got the Dreamline for the rabbits this evening. Just got to swap the Excite over from the Impact to the Dreamline. Uh, using the JSB heavies <clears throat> in 177. I've just picked up my salad. It's a potato salad. So I'm just going to get these out, have a drink, and get set up. See what's about. Might be a bit, a little bit early. Cause it's been a really hot day, so we might need it just to start setting the temperature to cool before they start making a move out. But that gives me a bit of time to get zeroed. Okay, three soon. I decided to leave the uh, Excite on the impact because it was already zeroed and uh, there was quite a breeze when I got to uh, the rabbit permission so I didn't want to try and re-zero the Dreamline with this site in the wind which has been a bit reckless so I decided to uh, leave it on so I waited for about half an hour this little garden section where I saw one out when I uh, got out of the car and this one was, ran into about 15 yards away so a very straightforward shot Lights out for that one. Don't get no closer than that really, to be honest. Could have poked him in the eye with a gun if we got any closer. Oh, the next one, uh, he came out with his mate. And I thought, that's a nice, nice and straightforward there, 25 yards. And I have absolutely no idea what happened here. I was absolutely bang on, it must have been a flyer. Just, I had no idea where the pellet went. But his mate stayed. And it was a nice straightforward shot. Easy 25 yards, no problem. It was a bit breezy than I would have liked actually, so I was happy to keep the range down at that point. And the last one, come out again in the same place. Just in the way of the woodwork, so I'm just going to shuffle to the left. And then take him a little bit of windage to the left. Uh, nice straightforward shot, and down he goes. So that was three, and I had to get it to about nine o'clock, and it got dark, and I had a headache, and I was hot and tired and needed a shower. So that's those three, and it's time to head for home. Not a bad day. Eight birds, three rabbits. Not too bad at all, really. Hope you had a good day too, if you went out that day. Unless you were more sensible than I was and stayed at home and had a barbecue and a beer. That would have been the right thing to do, but there we are. Okay, if you enjoyed that, like, subscribe and share. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.